Hey saddle hunters, this is Spencer again. I have a bunch of reviews that I've been trying to get out for a long time that I'm finally getting around to bringing you. The first is the Tethered Mantis. Now, I've hunted with the Tethered Mantis for a couple of seasons now. I bought it on their pre-order. I think that was the spring of 2018. So I hunted with it during the 2018 season and then some again in the 2019 season was very pleased with the saddle. I, I came from using the Arrow Hunter Kestrel and immediately sold the Kestrel and hunted from the Mantis because I loved it that much more. So I'm not gonna say much that's original, but I just wanna give you my take in case you're looking for a little extra information on the saddle and, and the system as a whole, really. So the saddle itself is a mesh body uh, and then the support system is, is these two large webbing straps. It has one row of, of molly webbing across the top. I know other brands have a couple of you know sections or strips of molly webbing. I found one to be more than enough. Two is a little bit more stable if you're using the traditional molly attachment system, but Tethered's attachment system makes this very usable and, and easy. So uh, that's, that's there. The lineman's loops are integrated into the top of the saddle. They're large, uh, bigger than what was on the Kestrel, and they're a light color. I found them pretty easy to find in the dark. They stay open, they're nice and stiff. The other thing to point out, uh, the top of the saddle is completely flat, uh, straight across the top. And then the waist belt is integrated into the front side of the upper band. And the waist belt, I think, is one inch, one inch strap, uses an ADF Raptor buckle. I like the Raptor buckle. It, it's a little noisy, but I mean, you just snug it up and, and it, it doesn't make a sound. So I really love this saddle wearing it in. It, the thing weighs next to nothing. And so I would just strap it on my waist, walk right into the woods, hardly even know it was there. Of course, the, the bridge loops are large and reinforced well. Three or four rows of stitching across the front of each one of them. They stay open nice. The bridge is am steel, and I believe it's 30 inches long. I, I love the am steel. The thing just it is feather light. These are the attachment points for the recliner. We're gonna show that to you in just a minute. But the, the bridge is just, just awesome. It's spliced on, on each side, very secure, very solid. When I would walk in, all I did was simply fold this over and typically tuck it into the waist belt and, and it stayed out of the way. The leg straps attach right at the bottom. Uh, and these are the upgraded hooks. I think they call these G hooks or T hooks, something like that. Originally it didn't come with these, but Tethered offered these for free to people that pre-ordered. So that's nice. They're very robust. And so basically there, there's two attachment points for, for the leg loops. You can attach them down below, right here below the micro fit adjusters. And we'll talk about those in just a minute. So Basically, you just hook it on like that and you wanna make sure that the hook is pointed down. No matter how you attach it, you cinch it tight. Works really good, really easy, super lightweight. Love that about it. The second attachment point is up here on the waistband. And same thing, you just wanna make sure it's pointed down. One attachment point there, the other attachment point right on the other side of the waist buckle. So two options there for the leg loops. This is a size large. I laid the size large and measured it. The size large is the exact same size as an Arrow Hunter medium. So um, just so you have some reference there. The last feature really in this saddle are the micro fit adjusters. Once again, tethered upgraded hooks and they, they work really well. They just hook on there and then you can adjust kind of the cup or the tension of the saddle by shortening or lengthening that loop, so works really good. This is easily removable. They've designed it to be to be modular, so you just fold it over, pull it through, and, and you can take them off if you don't want them. I don't adjust them a whole lot, but uh, I've found them to be, be helpful when necessary. So that's the saddle. Let me give you a quick weight for it on the scale here. This is the lightest commercial saddle made, and 
This one's coming in at, oh, let me make sure I've got, got everything in here so we're getting an accurate weight for it. I'm going to zero it out here. I waited earlier, so I know what it should be coming in at, and it wasn't. So there we go. One pound, two ounces. One pound, two ounces. So 18 ounces for the size large with the microfit adjusters on there. The thing's just feather light. Let me show you a couple of the other tethered accessories. So I have the Sys Hauler, the ES with the extra side compartments. I love the extra side compartments. In the one side, I keep my pull-up rope. And then on the other side, I keep the recliner. And this thing is fantastic. It just folds up next to nothing so compact. The adjustments are very quick. You just hook these loops through those little prussic loops that are on the bridge. So that button just slides through there like that. And that's all there is to it. Very easy. Of course, you can adjust the length. It's got a ton of length adjustability. But I love the thing because it's so lightweight and it rolls up and fits in that pocket just super easy. Out of the way, easy to get to when you want it. The sys haulers can really hold a lot. Right now, I mean, and there's there's still room in the top of this thing. You could fit more. But I have in it the HYS strap. This is three quarter inch, and this thing's just fantastic. Uh, loops around the tree. So you would run it around the tree like that. You pull it back down through itself to adjust whatever diameter your tree is. Once again, another T hook, hooks on there. You pull it tight and and it's cinched around the tree and then you can use any one of these number of loops to hang your gear from your bow your pack any other thing so that's a fantastic piece of equipment doesn't take up much space doesn't weigh much either uh, i also have the tethered ropes in here i have the lineman's belt right here and then the tether right here i run ropeman ones on both of these and i bought the uh, Carabiners that Tethered first had available, these are the Wild Country Ascent lights, and so, so those, are a good, those are a good option. But they're not the thinnest ropes in the world. That would be my complaint. I've since switched and I'm using uh, the Oplux ropes. Those are super thin, really compact. These are just kind of thick, kind of bulky. I love that they're spliced. They grab the tree so much better than a knot uh, when you're talking a tether. The Ropeman is a lifesaver, especially on the lineman's belt. So they work and love the splicing, but they're just not the most compact option on the market anymore. But all that stuff fits right there in the in the sys hauler. Let me show you how it attaches then to the saddle. They have a really neat, quick adjustment and fastening system. So where's the top? Of I like to put mine on my left side, I'm right-handed, so it makes it easy to grab, But and I like to put it up toward the lineman's belt loop, but you'll see right here on the back of the sys hauler, there's just a couple of those tri-glides again. And those tri-glides just slip down through the molly webbing in two different locations. So give me a second and I'll show you how they work here. Slide down. It's really a pretty quick adjustment system. They slide down and then they flip out underneath like that to grab it and, and it just hangs right there. So it's a super easy fast option. Let me give you a weight on all this stuff. So this is the saddle, the recliner, my pull-up rope, the Sys Hauler ES, as well as the Hang Your Stuff strap. This is typically what I would wear in to the tree stand. Let's 
you're out there. Three pounds, 14 ounces. Three pounds, 14 ounces. Hopefully you can see that. So just under four pounds with all, all that stuff. Really a, just a fantastic option. And of course, if you switch out ropes, you can get way lighter than that. Now, uh, the only other piece of tethered gear I want to show you in this video is the Predator platform. I haven't painted it, I haven't made any modifications, haven't felt the need to. I did put a little Night Eyes gear tie on the top of it to wrap around the lineman's belt like G2 and Greg shows in one of his videos. That's just been a lifesaver. The strap wraps around uh, really easy to, to uh, kind of hold itself there. So basically it's looped over the post and then I just run it around until I run out of strap. I loop it over one of the corners which jut out there, cinch it tight, and that thing's not going anywhere. So that's a really good option. I did replace the tethered strap. I have, once again, I pre-ordered this. I have the earliest version of the strap. There's a little wire spring on the inside of here. You can't see it. And if you weren't really careful with cinching it down on the tree, it would snag and tear the strap. But props to tethered. They put a different strap on now. I wound up, I had a lone wolf strap identical essentially laying around and so I've just switched to that and have been using that for for you know almost since I bought it. I'll give you a weight on this as it came. Three pounds six ounces. So you're looking at 54 ounces. So Good option, lightweight. I love that it's compact. It folds up so flat. I can strap it. I strap it to my fanny pack. I don't, I don't like carrying a ton of weight. I did buy a pack of four of the tethered Versa Strap Minis. So these have the small, small, small loops made for about one inch buttons. And this is this is a little bit bigger button. It does fit over. But it's super snug. I didn't like it. I mean, the strap weighs less than an ounce, so if you're really trying to cut weight, you can. And I'm sh I think, though, the better option for the Predator is to go with the regular size Versa straps, not the mini. I just found them to be a bit of a headache trying to get it over in the middle of the dark. And uh, I used it for about three hunts and, and took it off and went back to the regular strap, which is just fast and easy. And for me, the weight savings was no big deal. So. These are fantastic though. I use them on my modified Hawk Heliums and for that purpose, they, they just work great. So that's the tethered setup. Uh, a couple of my thoughts about it. Love the light, well, white, the lightweight. It's just fantastic. Uh, the, the Predator platform combined with the Mantis and the, especially the back band, very comfortable options. Uh, I found that if I wasn't running the back band, I was a little bit uncomfortable every now and again. The, the, my one complaint about the Manus was that there's a little, I found there anyway to be a little bit of fiddle factor. Uh, it would maybe ride up some and I'd have to, you know, kind of stand up on the platform and adjust it down. Um, I'd have to play with the adjustments every now and again, not, not a ton. So a little bit of fiddle factor in the saddle, but man, the lightweight for me was just heads and tails above the Arrow Hunter Kestrel. Good option, great product. The guys at Tethered, I contacted customer service a couple times. I wanted to change, I think, from a, a medium to a large, and they did that uh, with, with no problems at all. So I, I've been impressed with them. Greg's been a ton of help on the forum and things. So good option, guys. Highly recommend Tethered. I'm planning to buy the Phantom here when it comes out next month and give a review on that as well. It looks like they've got some really neat features. But uh, love the Mantis, good product, lightweight if that's what you're going for. I would recommend it for the guy that is pursuing a minimalist saddle design. And the Predator goes into the field with me every single time I go. I have a ring of Amer steps. I had the, the Cranford saddle scaffold and, and I just love the platform. So I take that with me. Highly recommend it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll try to get a little bit of footage of it uh, on and in the field, but you know, for the meantime, I just highly recommend Tether. They're a great brand, great product. Don't feel, you know, nervous about trying them out. They're just fantastic.